The holidays are here and that means it's time to decorate the house, reconnect with friends and family, maybe even play some games, and of course cook up a storm or eat up a storm. No judgment from me at all. But food is at the center of everything we do in the holidays. That includes a quarter of U.S. families who are impacted by food allergies. But don't worry, we're here to help. This is Teal Holidays with Heather. I'm Heather Brooker. You might recognize me from television shows, films, my podcast, Motherhood in Hollywood, and I'm also an Emmy award-winning journalist. If you don't recognize me, Google me. As you can probably tell, Thanksgiving is one of my favorite holidays. I grew up in Oklahoma where we had the family gathered around the table sharing funny stories, listening to crazy Uncle Ed <laughs> telling who knows what kind of story. Um, but what's great about Thanksgiving is it really gives us an opportunity to be actively thankful. And we are gonna talk about ways you can do that with your family, whether you have a huge spread at the dinner table or maybe it's small just for a few people. We are gonna talk about some simple ways that you can make your Thanksgiving stress-free. Okay, so my first Thanksgiving tip for you is to just completely ditch this notion of a perfect Thanksgiving. There are going to be things that are out of your control and you should just embrace that right now. Your turkey may be a little bit dry. You may get your cranberries out of a can. There may be some fight over a football game. That's okay. It's all sort of part of the holiday fun if you wanna look at it that way. Um, so first of all, let's just ditch the entire notion of a perfect Thanksgiving. All right, let's talk about making a perfect turkey. Just kidding, checking to make sure that you are still following along and I'm so glad you are because the one area where you do need to be 100% perfect on is making sure that none of the food you're making could cause any harm to any of your guests or family members with food allergies. Whether that means picking up the phone and just double checking with them before you prepare a meal, it is so much better to do that and be safe rather than sorry. Here's some good news. There is a world full of food substitutes out there. So if there's an ingredient you're cooking with or you need to make something with like your mashed potatoes, need some milk or butter, but you need something that doesn't have dairy in it, you can head on over to foodallergy.org and look for a list of food substitutes. Or you can use the internet, your little friendly Google there on your phone and find out what alternatives are available for cooking your Thanksgiving meal. All of this is top nine free. So you know if I can do it, you can too. Okay, here's another hint. We gotta talk about sides. In this world of Top Chef and Chopped, and we're all trying to be like Gordon Ramsay, I want you to take all of that pressure and throw it out the window and just focus on simple sides, maybe something with three or four ingredients at the most. Then you can change your focus and switch it up to a show-stopping dish. Like for me, it's my pie. I make a mean apple pie and it is a big hit every Thanksgiving. All right, let's talk about a Thanksgiving potluck. Here's my tip, don't have a potluck. When somebody else is creating a dish inside their home, you have absolutely no control over what they've touched or what ingredients have gone into it. The best way to do that is just to make everything in your own home. And you'll just have to say, sorry, Aunt Betty, I'll bake the bread this year and let her just come and relax and enjoy the day. That way you limit the exposure to cross contact and can make sure all of your foods are top nine free. Okay, so we covered food. Moving on, we are gonna talk about the true meaning of Thanksgiving. That's right, it's all about the football. Huh, still with me? No, it is all about counting our blessings and reconnecting with friends and family. So in this sort of digital obsessed world that we find ourselves in, let's take a step back and reintroduce ourselves to the long lost art of writing thank you cards. Take a look at this super simple and easy way to make your guests feel welcome when they arrive. You can easily pick up some thank you cards at the dollar store or at Target and just write a little handwritten note to your crazy Uncle Ed. It will make his day. These are perfect too as little um, placards 
for the seating arrangement. So everyone can walk around and go, oh, where's my card? Oh, is this me? Oh, it's directly to me. I feel so thankful. One other thing you can do with the uh, thank you cards or in the spirit of what we're thankful for, Give everyone something to write on at the table. We have a giant turkey in the middle of our table. It's called Turkey on the Table. And every year we write out what we're thankful for and kind of pin it onto the turkey like turkey feathers. We pull them out and we read what we're thankful for. It's so much fun. My daughter gets such a kick out of it. My husband and I get a chance to flirt with each other a little bit over the table. And it's just something that really creates these wonderful memories around Thanksgiving. Just remember, Thanksgiving is a time to feel gratitude and just spend time with your family. You can even do a little decorating around the house and there's no need to blow out your budget to do that. Something simple like a little bit of garland and gourds can go a long way. And if you have just a little patch of grass even, go outside with a fam and throw the ball around, kick a soccer ball, maybe get out the cards or that old game of cranium. Do people still play cranium? I loved that game. Get out your cranium or dominoes and sit around the table, play some games together and do a little bit of bonding. But here's the deal, take all the pressure away. There's no pressure. If your family just wants to sit around and watch football, do it. If they wanna watch a movie, do it. If they want to watch my highlight reel, Google me. It's on the internet. You can see more of this. Whatever you do, just make sure you keep your holiday simple and stress-free as possible. All right, here's some final hot tips from Heather for your big Thanksgiving day. Take your phone charger with you into the living room. Trust me, you're going to need it. Also, leave all the politics and gossip at the door. You want to try to have a good time during the party. And also stay positive as much as possible. Try to bring in that light and joy into the celebration because as a very famous internet name once said, ain't nobody got time for that. And my final thought is, I just wanna tell you how thankful I am for you for taking the time to watch this video and hopefully get some helpful tips to have a safe and happy Thanksgiving. I am so thankful for my family and the many blessings I have. I have a little girl who I love so much and I'm thankful for a job that lets me talk to you and share these wonderful tips. So from everyone at FAIR and from me, have a happy Thanksgiving.